Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for a Living here and thanks for watching my videos. And today is Friday, um, August the 18th of 2017. And just wanted to come on and talk about this major event happening on Monday. Okay, I hope you guys know about it. On August the 21st, 2017, we're having a total solar eclipse that's going to pass over the continental United States. Um, the line of totality is going to start out over the Pacific Ocean and it's going to come in um, in Oregon first and I don't know sometime in 10 o'clock in the morning or sometime you have to look on the internet to find out and hopefully you're paying attention it, you'll know okay because everybody in the United States is being affected by this pay attention to your news uh, all the news channels will have a everybody will be doing special events I know NASA's broadcasting live there's um, Starnet's got a website you can or an app you can download and watch it live on your phone or whatever so go look for some of this you know whatever you can figure out when it's happening in your area but it's coming in in Oregon it's shooting across the United States at over 1400 miles per hour and it's going to exit in South Carolina and go out over the Atlantic Ocean um, so here where I'm at in southern Indiana it's going to happen um, roughly from one o'clock until uh, about 10 minutes till three or four o'clock I'm sorry about four o'clock there's gonna be about a three hour span that it's gonna take for the moon to cross completely in front of the Sun so it's gonna you know it'll basically that's all it's happening the moon is is going to be in alignment exactly with the um, the Sun and the earth and then it's gonna block out the Sun so um, yeah it, there's nothing else crazy going on um, <laughs> I've heard all kinds of crazy things that people think um, it's gonna fry your cell phone if you try to use your phone while the eclipse is going on well you know there's nothing different other than they're gonna be in alignment okay um, it's not gonna make you go blind unless you're staring at the Sun right which we don't stare at the Sun as it is so we know not to do that pets know not to stare at the Sun also so you know your little doggy he doesn't need any solar glasses because he's not going to be watching the Eclipse um, hopefully you got some um, some kind of eye protection these are some paper ones these ones actually came from Australia in 2012 I know somebody who went there and watched total Eclipse <laughs> in Australia um, I've never uh, seen a total Eclipse myself um, the the line of totality is um, a few hours south of me so here in my area it's only going to be about 95 percent coverage but that's going to be pretty dark um, best thing to, to do is not be driving while this is going on because it's maybe you're not the dangerous driver you're paying attention but you don't know what that guy next to you is doing and whether he knows that an eclipse is going on because he also might think the world's coming to an end and he's gonna crash okay because <laughs> I don't know I mean that's that's what the uh, Department of Transportation is saying just it's best to be off of the road during this just because it's not gonna be you know you don't know how other people are gonna react and do not wear these while you drive okay because if you put these on right now you can't see through them and that's the way they're supposed to be because they're only made for looking at the Sun and you can safely look at the Sun with these right now if you wanted to if you have some um, and they should have an ISO number on them and be rated properly for looking at the Sun um, you can um, use a welding um, hood that has a 14 uh, filter in it or one that's darker than that um, and and look at the Sun with it with that so um, yeah I just wanted to come on and talk about how excited I am about this happening okay because my channel isn't about solar things my channels about coupon deals but okay everybody in the United States here in the continental United States I don't think um, Alaska and in Hawaii I, I'm sorry guys you're being left out of this one um, <laughs> but I think most of Canada and most of Mexico are going to uh, see the effects of this as well it's going to be dark there as well but the further away you get from the line of totality um, it's not going to be as dark okay so like I said around here to be like 95% coverage of the Sun so it's gonna get um, fairly dark right 
um, yeah, so when you need to, when you're looking at the sun is when you need to be using these and you know otherwise you're not gonna walk around with these on I've heard people saying that too and it's just like you can't see through them so um, and it's okay to go outside and I mean there's nothing different going on um, than normal other than we're gonna have a shadow pass over uh, over the earth and that's what's gonna you know it's gonna be dark because of that so anyways I hope you guys are excited and um, hopefully I can bring you some kind of video about what I actually do on Monday and, and, and everything because I have no clue. I don't know. All I know is, is I'm not going to work on Monday. <laughs> I know that uh, because, um, well, I just wouldn't be able to take it. I'd be outside standing in the parking lot anyhow um, and not getting any work done. So there's no reason for me to go to work. Um, I'm that excited. So <laughs> anyways, all right. I hope you guys are excited too. I'll talk to you later.